Hello and welcome to the Oatana Today Show. I am your host, Francie Hall. This is your Community Connection, and we are able to bring you so many exciting and interesting community activities, events, and programs thanks to our sponsors. So it's Friday and it's time to thank our sponsors. So please join me in doing that. Our premier sponsors are the City of Owatonna, Express Employment Professionals, and the Owatonna Public Utilities. Our primary sponsors are Amy Swain Hearing Centers, Brookdale Senior Living Solutions, Little Theater of Owatonna, and the Owatonna Foundation. Our interlude sponsors are Abraham Consulting Technologies, Bremer Bank, Brenda Bednar Mortgage Office, Glenn Mager and Michael Mager of the Brick Mager Funeral Home and Medford, Medford Funeral Home, Carlson, Brandstad and Company CPAs, ERA Gillespie Real Estate, Fairview Animal Medical Center, Horizon Eye Care, Clancher & Sons Landscaping and Concrete, the Owatonna Business Incubator, Steele County Historical Society, Steele County Transitional Housing, the Third Hand Video Productions, and TPS Insurance. We hope that you will support these fine Owatonna businesses and individuals as they support our community by supporting this show. By the way, we're always looking for more supporters of the show, so if you're interested in having a commercial on our show um, or having more advertising with us, please do contact us. We're happy to uh, talk to you about that. You can call us at 390-5751. Please stay with us for an exciting show. We've got the Owatonna Arts Center with a lot of really neat updates. And then we're going to be visiting with the boys from the Ellendale Heritage Society who are going to be raising funds for their gas, uh, Gus's gas station, which has been moved to the Steel County Historical Society's village of yesteryear. Stay with us after a word from our sponsors. Hi, I'm Dr. Beth Giltvet. And I'm Dr. Nick Vincelli of Horizon Eye Care. We want you to see what you love and love how you see. We're proud sponsors of the Owatonna Today Show. I needed more than just another dead-end job. I wanted a career, so I expressed myself. With the kids off to college, I decided it was time for me to go back to work and express myself. Express got me in touch with some really great companies. Now, I'm on my way to a great career. Express Employment Professionals is in contact with thousands of companies in need of quality employees. Come in now and get the job you deserve. Express yourself today. Welcome back. We are joined now by Arlen Burmeister, who is the president of the board for the Owatonna Arts Center. And there is a lot, a lot going on at the Arts Center this month in July. There is, Francie. Thank you for having me. Wonderful. You know, before we get started, um, for people who don't know much about you, could you just give, our, give us a little um, introduction to you? About me? About you. I'm an old guy. You're <laughs> Okay. No, I have we've been in the community for uh, a number of years. My wife is an artist, and that's the thing that kind of moves me towards saying um, I need to put some time back. Plus, I'm retired, and, uh, you know, life has been good to me, so why not give some things back? And so I decided we can spend some time helping in any way we can the uh, art center. Thank you so much. That is really that is really neat. We've got so many good people in this community there who are. give back in so there many are. ways. Um, so there is a lot going on in July. I don't even know if we can touch on all of them, but one of the things is that we've got an upcoming um, fundraiser called the Color Dash. We do. The um, Color Dash is, is um, it's going in with the Crazy Days program that the city has, and it'll be on Saturday. Uh, so people who are interested, and when I say people, it's not just young people that get into this. It's We've had mothers with strollers and everything else, you know, mm -hmm. and, and walking down or jogging or whatever they want to do. And it's about about 5K. And there is they can register at cd5k.com. Okay. So it's a 5K run, walk, race, whatever you want to call it. And the color dash comes from the fact that as they move through this um, distance, there will be individuals around throwing poofs of color at them, you know. <laughs> And they'll come out of they'll come out of there with all kinds of color all over them. It's a it's a powder, a non toxic powder, 
Um, and at the end of the race, the race starts at 11, so registration anytime from 9 to 11, and it's on Vine Street, just on the west side of Cedar. Okay, and that is on July 25th? Ju July Saturday, 25. Saturday, July 25th. Yes. Okay. And what will happen is after about the race will go start at 11, go till roughly 12. At the end, there's a huge explosion of color, and people want to be part of that. An explosion That's of what I've been told. Color. That sounds dangerous. All right. No. <laughs> and so we should be wearing white clothing uh, so that we can, uh, that we would like to be, have, you know, colored, right? Yes, yeah. So that we can Tie-dyed. Will it, will it stay? Uh, no. Oh, certainly. No, no. I have no. We no, don't it know. doesn't stay. It okay. does not stay. And But you don't want to wear your best clothing, Don't obviously. wear your best clothes to get um, covered with, you know, food coloring so or cornstarch. at the end of the explosion, then there is going to be a, um, what they call a little bubble pit for younger children, where they can play around in a bubble pit. And at the conclusion of that, we're going to move people across Cedar to the old Theater, green space, so that they're calling that Art on Green or something of that nature. So that used to be what, the State Theater is where? That's so correct. now that's just a green patch space. of lawn? Yes. The old movie theater. Yeah, and, the old movie theater. And we're going to um, have artists there. So this is another chance for local artists if they would like to show their wares. No registration fee. There, there's no, they just have to let us know by the 17th of July. And they can call 451 zero five three three and um, or they can go on to our website at uh, oacarts.org so people from the community if they would like since we're not having this year we're not having the art festival so this this can be an opportunity for people to both display art and people to come and look at art that's and correct. buy art yes, right that's correct yes and the other thing that'll happen is we're moving into a an exciting area we, we have a group called that are sponsoring color wheels and color wheels is like, you had mentioned like a bookmobile, you know, it's only it's art on wheels and where people can participate and get involved in projects. And that will be uh, available that day for young people to participate, make things. We've, we've run one program already with like with Wee Pals and they did, uh, they made moose ears and noses and things like that. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's directed and moves toward the group, the age group, whatever it is. So so it, you don't have to be a child. I mean, a, a young, a really young child, it's many different ages can come and participate in this kind of art mobile. And the tasks are, they're not static. They're things that change with the group. That's correct. And we're not, we're not even sure how and where and how this thing's coming together because we're just working on it now. So we're running some trial. And we envision it might even go to a senior center, you know, oh, yes. so uh, places where we can get people involved in the arts. Wonderful. I yeah. love that idea. Yeah. So art mobile. I, and I should mention that we're this, this color dash is sponsored and partnering with youth first in Oatana. So the, the so that's two a groups. Okay. That's yes. another nonprofit that is, is yes. also benefiting from this color dash. And our effort is to, to grow this color wheels. That's where our money would go toward. To, we could get the ah, color Ah, so color dash equals color wheels. Yes. Which is the art mobile, basically. Yes, yes. Really neat. And you've and so that's all what's happening on cr the Crazy Days weekend. On July 25, Crazy Days weekend. A so lot of we, stuff going on then want, from the Art Center at Crazy Days. We want the, the community full of people. All right. And that's all. Well, the community is full of people. Yes. But we want the... <laughs> We would. You got it. So all of the stuff that the art center is doing for Crazy Days will take place in that space that was the state theater. Yes. Okay, that's all really right. neat. Good to know. And I should mention that beginning next um, on Monday, uh, we have a preschool camp for um, children and uh, nine thirty to ten thirty, so they can come in and get some experiences and some more enthusiasm toward the arts. That will be followed by. Uh, an early elementary camp the same time on Monday, or not same time, uh, later, you know, like 10, uh, 10 o'clock till 11 uh, 45, and it's Bobby the Builder. Bobby uh, the Builder, I like yeah, that. Right. So uh, th th we can register online at Eventbrite if people are aware of that, this red or by calling the Art Center at 451 0533. They can register for these events. So we've got two children's children's art camps here in 
in in our community at the art center. That's correct. Right? Okay, yes. both on the same day. Both one on the following same day. the other. Yes. One is preschool. What's the other? What's the age range for the um, early elementary? It is. It's okay. for anybody who wants to uh, come in because they're not going to be staying at night. So if they want to come in, you know, I think we would say kindergarten through fifth grade. Fifth you know, grade. early okay. early elementary. And um, it's it's like a two hour project for. Is there them. a cost so for this? For that one, there's a cost of, of twenty five dollars for the week, or it's five dollars a day. So people could come just for the day they if could. they wanted yes. to. Yes. Okay. And for the preschool camp, which is ages three through five, mm -hmm. you see, so we have uh, we have a, a whole different age group there. That's um, thirty five thirty dollars for members and thirty five dollars for non members of the art center for the week. For the week, okay. yes. And then they can have a single class as well. Yes. Okay. There are some other events. Let's just hit them quickly. There's a and, lot of yes. events. We know that uh, the D. Teller one is on right now mm -hmm. and uh, with David Hajduk, but there is going to be a reception on Sunday for both of them. And people These are, are the invited. featured artists for July. That's right. D. Teller, of course, the renowned Chinese horse Mm -hmm. painting person and David Hajduk is a bronze and metal sculptor who worked with um, Granlund from uh, who was a, um, a renowned sculptor who was a professor at Gustavus and and he worked with him so um, it's amazing we, the talent that we do have in yes. this community uh, what else is happening secret garden tour is Sunday July 19th we can't talk about it, you know, because cause it's a secret. It's a secret. Yes, it is. Yes, no. <laughs> but we will actually be um, we will be going to that and, and filming, so that will be wonderful. Tickets are ten dollars for that in advance, or they're twelve dollars for the day uh, at the art center or at the day of the event. And we would uh, encourage people to check that out as well. Uh, we have uh, healing arts reception at the Otana Hospital. That is a, um, a joint effort with the hospital where we, we do different things to them, with them, <laughs> not to them. They do to us, I guess. And uh, we're going to be at the Steele County Free Fair. So uh, look for us. You know, we're going to be there with Color Dash. We're going to be giving people a chance to uh, participate with that a little bit. The color wheels? Col I'm sorry, color, color wheels. wheels. Yes, thank you. So We've got too many will colors. Be, and that will be outside or will it be it's in It's going the... to be at the Fine Arts Building. Oh, okay. So Wonder oh, perfect. Stop in Naturally. There. Okay. That makes perfect sense. Uh, so I would say the big thing right now is the 25th with uh, Youth First, uh, Color Dash at... Um, the really on the old movie theater downtown downtown you bet starts at what time again that starts at 11 but registration at nine o'clock and there's a fee for that of, of forty dollars for an individual but it's thirty five dollars for a team you get a group of people together uh register at cd5k.com yep or they can give you a call they can give us a call at four five one zero five three Three. Zero five three three, and all of that supports all the wonderful programs we just heard about, but especially this these color wheels. So thank you so much for joining us, Arlen. Francie, thank you. There's a lot going on. I don't know how you're getting all this done, but we appreciate that you are. With your help, we get it out there. <laughs> thank, you. thank you. All right, folks, stay with us because upcoming we have got the men from the Ellendale Heritage Society, and they are raising funds for the gas station that has been now moved over to the village of yesteryear here. Stay with us for them after a word from our sponsors. The River Springs Water Park at 3065 St. Paul Road is open for the summer. Come with family and friends to enjoy the many features the water park has to offer. Open swim hours are listed on the screen. For more information on daily specials, programs, and large group packages, visit our website, call the water park at 774-7370, or find them on the River Springs Water Park Facebook page. Make a big splash this summer at the River Springs Water Park. Hi, I'm Ron Clancher with Clancher & Sun Landscaping and Concrete. We support the Oatana Today Show and so should you. Amy Swain Hearing Centers is a proud sponsor of the Oatana Today Show. I'm Dr. Amy Swain and I want everyone to hear better. Hi, I'm Brenda with the Mortgage Office of Brenda Bednar, aligned with American Mortgage and Equity Consultants, where closings feel right, right from the beginning. I'm a proud supporter of the Oatana Today Show.
I'm Deb Gillard. And I'm Sean McNulty with Brookdale Owatonna Senior Living Solutions. We are assisted living and Alzheimer's and dementia care communities here in Owatonna and formerly known as Claire Bridge and Sterling House. And we are proud sponsors of the Owatonna Today Show. Welcome back. We are now joined by uh, Lloyd, Steve, and Jerry, and they are members of the Ellendale Heritage Society. Um, could you just introduce yourselves to the people and let us know who you are, what you do, and how you're associated with this group? My name is Lloyd Kaplan. Uh, I was originally from the Allendale area until I moved into Otana, but I'm still part of the Allendale Area Heritage Society, which is the responsible party to get Gus's gas station moved to the Steele County Historical Society so it can be preserved for everybody to see. Wonderful. I'm Steve I'm Fredrickson, a uh, former history teacher, and that's why I got involved with this and retired. And uh, talked to Lloyd and, and got in with the Allendale Heritage uh, Society. Mm -hmm. so. Hello there. How are you, Jerry? <laughs> Just fine, thanks. I'm Jerry Thompson. I'm a member of the Memories Car Club in Ellendale. That makes perfect sense with your shirt. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we're taking part in the, in the Augusta Station uh, to put on the car show portion of it. In addition to the camp pancake breakfast, we're going to be uh, responsible for um, registration of the cars and um, we have some registration forms and we have a windshield forms that we will fill out to put on the people's cars identifying the car and the uh, owner and then on the back side is the map for the cruise that we're going to take after the show so we'll be taking a little car cruise with all the cars perfect perfect segue into the fact that what you're doing here is promoting the car show and the pancake breakfast, which is to raise funds um, for this gas station. And we'll talk about the gas right. station in a minute, but tell us more about the car show. How many cars will be in it and also the pancake breakfast and all of that good stuff and the kinds of cars. Why do people want to come to this, basically? Well, we're hoping to have uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 200 cars. So it should be a very good turnout. Uh, and there, we've had exposure in many different towns around Rochester, Mankato, Waseca, you know, Albert Lee, and Owatonna, of course. We'll be pulling from yeah, the broader community right. surrounding us to get so a lot of cars. So the people that come will get a chance to see cars that they probably haven't seen before. Do you have any examples of the kinds oh, of cars they might not have seen? You name it. We've got everything from old Model A's all the way up to newer newer hot rod type cars, you know, Corvettes, et cetera. So uh, it should be a, a quite a good sprinkling of mm -hmm. various cars. I think they're going to have the old uh, weapons carrier from Misgins, if I'm right. not mistaken, from Francis Misgin, yeah. that was a World War II vet. Oh, uh, wow. He had an original weapons carrier used in World War II, all restored, and... Uh, What's a weapons carrier? You're not well, talking about a tank, like a you're big, talking about some kind of armor. It's like a bigger jeep. Okay. It's like a bigger jeep. Meant to haul, haul the armory. Yeah, well, to haul weapons, smaller sure. weapons, not not um, not big howitzers sure. or anything. But okay. So that we think well, they'll have that. And then wasn't there one other old, uh, old vehicle that uh, you guys were working on? We have a couple uh, unique items coming. Uh, one is probably a Model A, Model T camper that used to be uh, used for uh, hunters and that to stay in. We'll be displaying that. We have a uh, vehicle. That's all I can call it. It's from the vicinity between Medford and Faribault, which we uh, think will be coming. Made out of a combine chassis and just a unique piece. Uh -huh. uh, we've been trying to get, uh, we haven't made the contact yet, a farmer uh, who has a welder, he made a vehicle out of a uh, manure spreader. Manure spreader? Yes, and it's got uh -huh. a uh, old uh, 
Serge Melkeron for the air cleaner. It's got oh toilet seats in for it. It's that's ready. a farmer's vehicle for you. <laughs> yes, they can make is. anything. They can fix anything. That is really fun. When is this event, and where is this event? The car show and the pancake breakfast. It'll be at the uh, uh, Village of Yesteryear, Steel County Fairgrounds, and we chose to have it there because then we can obviously. Um, promote Gus's gas station and what it'll what will happen is that uh, people will be able to bring their cars up and get pictures taken in front of it with the the 1920s 1930s gas pumps and it'll look like it did at that time so we're trying and you're to promote restoring it. it you're the person restoring kind I, of restoring I, well those, right? I'm part of that okay. team yeah and uh, I'm working on getting them finished up now so that we can get them there this this uh, week so it's July 18th July 18th at the uh, village of yesteryear um, and what time? It's the 8.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. is the pancake breakfast? Is that right? Yeah, the, the whole event will take, care, uh, take place at that time. On the grounds, we'll have cars, like Jerry said, we started out smaller and it, it seems to be growing and growing. So we're looking at the fact that maybe upwards of 200 cars. So they'll be all around the grounds and people will be able to go into the historical society and get a pancake breakfast uh, that's going to be fantastic with all local, uh, featuring local um, artists that have put it together, like Steve's Meat and Hope Butter and uh, uh, Buttermilk Pancakes from Leroy and Wayne Summers. And so it's all going to be homemade and it's going to oh, be. Oh, wow, great. With, uh, people will be able to wander around and look at the cars and have a breakfast and enjoy the day in a perfect venue that we have there. It sounds really. At the Steel County Fairgrounds. Really so. fun and really interesting. And there is a price for this because we're trying to raise funds, right? There's, there's no charge for the show, for the car show. Okay. Uh, we will be giving dash plaques, a uh, memento dash plaque. Uh, they'll have the Gus Station logo on it to the first 75 entrance for free yeah okay mm -hmm. and then there's a cost then i guess just for the pancake breakfast that's correct okay and what is that it's uh, six dollars in advance we'll be selling tickets in advance and then seven dollars that day and children under five are free right. with the paid adult yes <laughs> don't just send your children <laughs> no, <loose. I> yeah <laughs> um and let's see here, uh, what was I going to ask you about that? Was, oh, in advance, where? Where can they get them in advance? Well, we're going to be selling them, the members of the group are going to be selling, and I believe, are, they, are we going to have some at like Lerberg's store? We have at Steve's Meat Market in Allendale, Lerberg's in Allendale, Kotke Jewelers, which always sells tickets for every event. Any, any event in town, you, you can go to always Kotke's. Steel mm -hmm. County Historical Site will have them, and as okay. Jerry said, uh, all of the volunteer main core of volunteers will have tickets for sale. So, so I can buy a ticket from one of you guys today. Yes, I have them in my pocket, and I expect you will buy one before you leave. I will. Beat it's me so to the punch. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it sounds so fun. Uh, tell us about this wonderful heritage of this gas station. It was in Allendale, and what it moved last year to the to the uh, three, village of yesteryear. So tell yeah. us about this, and if there's time, give us. In fact, just give us a good story about it. Three uh, years ago, it was uh, moved. The gas station itself was given to me by a gentleman who was previously from Allendale. He lives in Phoenix or in Arizona at the time. And in return, I gave it to the Allendale Area Heritage Society, and we checked what we had. Didn't have the funds really to keep it there and keep mm -hmm. it up. Uh, so we offered it to the Steele County Historical Site, and they accepted the building. So the Allendale Area Heritage Society proceeded to raise money to bring it into Otana with the great cooperation of uh, many volunteers, major volunteers. Mm -hmm. Broskoff Construction for example, uh, they furnished the crane that lifted it onto a truck, which was donated by Egg Power here in Otana, One. and we hauled it in, and we had it all ready for setting in place, and that was the start of the restoration. Well, of the that's station. no small feat to move a gas station intact, and um, now we're raising funds for. Or the, the gas pump. Most of the 
money has been raised for restoring the gas. They, now we're working on the gas pumps, and there may be another item that we will be working on in the near future that goes with it that would represent the station very well for the historical society. Well, you told me about these gas pumps, and I, I've not seen one before, but the, the, the gas was actually held up in a glass bubble, which is really neat. I think we're going to have to kind of leave it there, guys. This goes fast, I know. Thank you so much for coming, and, you know, especially for um, being a part of preserving uh, history. It's really, uh, it's really valuable. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us, and uh, please stick with us for our community announcements. Hello, my name is Katie Marshall. A year ago, my family and I became homeless. We were scared and alone. Today, with the help of Steele County Transitional Housing and generous donors like you, my family and I are safely housed. I am working, going to college, paying my rent on time. My children have a warm bed to sleep in every night. My family and I are so grateful for this second chance. Please help others in need by donating to Transitional Housing today. Everyone deserves a safe place to live. Welcome to Bremer Bank. I am Jason Iberg. And I am Shannon Pedersen. Bremer is a full financial services bank. We invite you to stop by Bremer Bank and experience the Bremer difference. You, you are, are always, always welcome, welcome at, at Bremer. Bremer. Welcome back. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today. And we want you to know that we've got some great shows coming up next week as well. The Owatonna uh, Art Center Secret Garden Tour, Humane Society Pet Adoption. We'll have some little critters here, Little Missile Summer Festival, and more. So please join us next week. But before we get to that, we want to give you our community announcements uh, as usual. A lot going on. Just a reminder, there are summer food programs for the families and children who were receiving um, free meals during the school year. And so if you need some food support, if you would like to have a breakfast or lunch, go to either Wilson Elementary School or Owatonna Junior High. Now through August 7th, you and your kids can get some um, nutritious meals. Also coming up uh, Thursday, July 16th, at the Owatonna Public Library, the children can enjoy mystifying magic with Greg Skillstad, I can never pronounce that, at 1 p.m., and that again is July 16th. Coming up on also on July 16th, the Trinity Lutheran Choir will be the musical group performing at the Bandstand in Central Park at 7 p.m. We want to remind you that on Saturday, July 11th, uh, the Steele County Humane Society, in conjunction with Kindest Cuts, offering low-cost spay and neuter services for dogs and cats, call 763-489-7729 for more information about that. Steele County Historical Society's extravaganza at the Village of Yesteryear is Sunday, July 12th from 11 to 4. Don't forget that the day before, there's a pancake breakfast that supports all of the programs that the Steele County uh, Histor Historical Society uh, puts on. Also, um, the American Red Cross will be at St. Joseph Church in Owatonna uh, for blood donations. If you would like to donate your blood, July 15th, July 16th, July 17th, contact 676-6872, 676-6872. Thank you so much for joining us. Please come back and see us next week.